Exclusive tonight, controversial commissioner wished to expose this Orange County leader for texting with an anti-sick pay lobbyist in the middle of a sick pay debate. Now she's talking to Wesh, too, and we're asking the tough questions. Why delete text messages? Tell us when you deleted those messages. It's new, it's tonight, and it's only on Wesh, too. Local, live, late-breaking. This is Wesh, 2 News at 11 in high definition. All new tonight, Wesh, 2 News goes right to the source, getting answers from a local leader we exposed in an exclusive investigation. Good evening. I'm Jim Payne. I'm Martha Sagowski. West 2 uncovered records showing Orange County Commissioner Jennifer Thompson repeatedly sent and received texts from a Disney lobbyist opposed to the county's sick pay proposal. These text messages came during the final emotional public debate. All new tonight, West 2's Greg Fox pushes the investigation forward, confronting Commissioner Thompson in a one-on-one -on -one interview you'll see only on West 2. Can you say definitively that your friend, a lobbyist, was not trying to steer the conversation and influence your vote? I can say that definitively. Orange County Commissioner Jennifer Thompson told me she was not playing dirty politics by communicating from her commission chair with a Disney World lobbyist the night she and three other commissioners opposed? No. Voted to delay putting the sick time measure on the November ballot. Our West 2 News investigation reveals that during the six hours of final debate, Thompson and a lobbyist for one of the sick pay measure's biggest opponents, Disney, exchanged 32 text messages. The lobbyist is Sharon Smoley, the same woman who visited the mayor and every single commissioner, a source tells us, to talk about sick pay. Thompson describes Smoley as a close friend and says the texts were not about business. A Disney spokesman backed that up in this statement. No, Sharon was not doing lobbying business with Commissioner Thompson that day. We can't prove or disprove any of that because she deleted every message. Can it's you tell us when you deleted those messages? As what I day and what time? It was as I, as I receive messages, I delete them as I go. I don't keep a log of anything unless I need to save it. The sick pay group isn't buying it. The public records request was put in at 10 a.m. the next morning. To that takes the county more than a week to even uh, acknowledge it. And here we go, missing text messages. Is a text message a public record? From the First Amendment Foundation, a text message is a public document and one that should be preserved and provided to the public upon request. According to a text message communication I received from a spokesman for Mayor Teresa Jacobs, he says all of the concerns about deleted emails and whether true public records were destroyed will likely lead to a move by the county to capture and log official text messages. Greg Fox, West 2 News. West 2 obtained another memo late tonight indicating Thompson is not the only one who deletes texts. The Orange County Mayor does too. Teresa Jacobs sent this memo to the county attorney saying she does not routinely save personal text messages on her personal phone.